Hey, thanks for being a part of the conversation. Let's do some pod crashing. Episode number 237 is with Michael Collier. I am supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. How you doing, Arrow Collins? Doing very well. I love your studio because, you know, you. I, I wish I could show you a picture of mine. It's, it's got elephants. It's got Native American spirituality tools and paintings. And so you totally get it, boot dude. What? All of those are my things right there. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Now I'm outstanding. I'm so blessed and so happy to be alive, to be in love, to be doing what I love to do. I'm smack dab in the middle of my dream, young man. You know, I you couldn't be the complaint out of me. You know what that you know what that tells me, Michael, is that you live in the presence of now, that you are in this moment and and don't take me away from it. Yes, I'm staying in the now moment, brother. Right now is what's happening. You know, I ain't even worried about the future because I know it's going to take care of itself as long as I let the now take care of the now. You know, thank you, brother, for seeing that. I appreciate you. Where, you're in North Carolina? I am. Where are you at? I'm in a lot. Well, part of Los Angeles is called Palmdale. Okay. So we have two homes. One is here in Palmdale, but our other home is in Winston Salem, North Carolina. Oh, wow. Yeah, where my fiance has the number one soul food restaurant in Winston Salem called Simply Sonia. She has a second restaurant called Simply Soul. And three weeks ago, she just picked up the property, acquired the property for the third restaurant. And I apologize to my mama when I say this, Arrow, <laughs> but this young lady makes a better salmon croquette than my mama. And my mama has held that title for 64 years, young man. Yes, sir. So I love me some North Carolina. Matter of fact, we just flew through your city to get to uh, Paducah, Kentucky this weekend. Oh, my God. And I stopped over what was in your town. We had to fl- I flew from our home here. She flew from our home in Winston-Salem. We met where you are. And then went went down to Paducah, Kentucky to see my 82-year-old aunt oh who cooked God. wall-to-wall food. Oh, my God. Collard greens, hot water cornbread, <laughs> barbecue ribs, candy yams. Oh, my God. It was so good. It was so good. See, you a, know? a lot of and people outside the South don't realize that Southern soul food, because they'll talk about all this global food. No, the only thing you need in the South is the soul food. Soul food. And you better get ready for some itis, too. I can tell you that. <laughs> Once you get through, you need a nap. You hear me? Ain't That's nothing so like true. that. A good nap. Of, and food connects us in a wonderful way, too. You know? <laughs> That's why breaking bread is so important. It's like everything's about communication and relationships. That's why I'm, I'm pleased and blessed and honored to be able to have a talk show. Yeah. Well, I'm talking to everybody from all walks of life are coming on and talking to me about everything from politics to money to comedy to joy to energy to God to life. And they're talking about it for real. They're not... You know, people aren't coming on my show to promote their thing. They come on the show to talk about life. So we get a chance to see a person whose life we really see from far apart. But now we see them up front in person. When Monique came on, she told me things. I know I wouldn't tell me this kind of stuff (laughs) that she told me. She told me T.I. I I don't know how T.I. is so, his brain is so good. He'll harbor I will never figure out how he even get that big ass brain, that little head. Hill Harper. <laughs> I mean, we have had some people. George Wallace came on and ripped an earthquake, killed it. It's just every time it's a beautiful thing to be able to talk with someone from another walk of life mm-hmm. who's also on a same path, which is the path of international global healing. Because mm-hmm. that's what I'm about. Mm-hmm. I'm about trying to have the whole world realize that we're in this together. You know, especially with this ugly racism thing. You know, we we all come over on different ships, but we're in the same boat now. Yep. And if we don't learn to pull together, we're going to tap the most incredible country in the whole wide world. The most incredible country I think this planet's ever seen. You know, uh, and it's falling apart because too many of us forgot the main thing. We're supposed to be here for each other, man. Yeah. See, we're supposed to be here loving each other. And, and, and that's what I like about the power of the podcast is that we are the voice. We're not being controlled by, by major corporations telling us, say this, say this, do this, do that. Right. You, you, you've got that's the power right. to use your own vocal cords. That's hot right there. And I don't know how long they're going to allow me to do that. But that's what I love is that I get to say what the hell ever I want to say. Yeah. That's why I love the podcast. You can come on my show, say whatever you want to say, and you can say it any way you want to say it. <laughs> Except, you know, I don't allow disrespect on my show, so you can't. You can't beat people up on my show. You can't be nasty and mean to people on my show. We just, well, I'm not having any of that. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I'm not on a roll like that. You know, I think in life, if you really want to excel, you got to try to get into the OQP, 
only quality people. Yeah. You don't you don't want these other people. You got these negative people. People always got their back bad, back biting you, stabbing you in the back, they're cheating you. You know, they want to whisper this. Let me tell you, somebody whispering ugly stuff to you about somebody else, they whispering ugly stuff about you to somebody else exactly, too. Exactly, exactly. So you want to be the OQP, only quality, positive people. I mean, you could be working, doing so good, and the little guy you trying to work with, like, oh, the universe has cursed me. You know, the universe doesn't curse you, it doesn't bless you. The universe responds to your vibrations. Whatever you send it to the universe, the universe sends back to you greater. So if you want more love, more peace, more power, more joy, more wisdom, just learn to give it. If you love everybody, if you give everything to everybody, you'll have so much shit, you won't have no place to put it. You won't have no place to put it. You got to have a U-Haul in front of your house. You wouldn't. So we just got to get back to the main thing, to the root. The root is love. The root is God, man. And if you actually get to love, you won't get to love you. Well, you you totally understand that because here in the Carolinas, you know that vibe, you know, whether you're on 40 or 52 going into Winston-Salem, you understand that there is an energy source out there in this universe of North Carolina that really speaks to us. And it's a choice to want to listen to it. Mm, It's beauty there, man. Y'all got the Southern hospitality down for real. I mean, y'all mean it when you're really kind to people and and more down down to earth is, is down home. For real, and y'all mean it there. That's why I was just smitten when I met this woman, just smitten, because I had never been treated like this. I had never been treated with such kindness and love. And it was just out of the hospitality of your region. Yeah, The yeah. South is serious when they say Southern hospitality. They ain't making that up. They giving you the extra piece of cornbread. You getting a hug you didn't see coming, okay? All of that is part of the narrative there, you know? <laughs> I loved your you conversation know? with Cletus Cassidy because, I mean, he really did put focus on you know the stuff that we pay for should we you know i mean it's just it's just it's just things that you know should we pay for it should we pay for stuff that we shouldn't have to pay for oh my god cletus cassie i have to say is truly truly a great comedian and and a brilliant man and you know i have a second show that i do every morning five days a week on youtube called the michael cali morning show and i've only done uh 606 shows so i understand if you haven't heard about it (laughs) but on that show he's my co-host and the stuff that he comes up with he had me laughing. I had to throw the whole interview off because he comes from so far left. Some of the funniest, brightest stuff. So Cletus is part of the crew because on my podcast is either me one on one or it's me and the crew. Yeah. And the crew is Cassidy and there's a uh, uh, it'll be Cletus Cassidy. There's a guy named Anthony. See Anthony Oaks. Oh my God, little gay boy who is <laughs> hilarious. He's a scream. And then a beautiful woman calls herself the Persian Black Queen. And between the three of them and me, we could take any topic and take it apart, put it back together, make you laugh about it, make you think about it, make you want to know more about it. Mm-hmm. And that's what the show is about. I want to reach people that we don't talk to regular, and I want to hear their truth. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I had T.S. Madison. You know who that is? Mm-hmm. T.S. Madison. Mm-hmm. T.S. Madison is a black transsexual, very successful uh, artist who's an, uh, a TV show personality. She had a show last season on WE TV. She's the first transsexual to have her own wow. show, and it was surrounding her life and her mother and, 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 and all of that. Now, can I curse on your show? Absolutely. Okay, so I asked her, first of all, I say, so T.S., why is T.S. at the front of your name? Because her name is T.S. Madison, not just Madison. And she said, because we put that on the front of our names to let people know that we're transsexual. Yeah. You know, so if I just come up and just say, hey, I'm Madison, and I'll, and you get, you know, you mean you get something going on, all of a sudden, doy, yo, 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 <laughs> and you didn't know that it's going to be a problem. So as soon as I meet you, I say, I'm T.S. Madison, so you know I'm transsexual Madison, nobody gets hurt. I said, see, that kind of stuff I don't know. That's kind of stuff I want to ask about. I said, so riddle me this then. Uh, since you're transsexual, why you still got the dick? Yeah. And yeah. she said, well, you know, Michael, I got a two-part answer. Part one, my mom and I are very religious, very spiritual. And I think my body parts were given to me by God. And I refuse to alter them wow. in disrespect to God under any circumstance. Yeah. She said, um, and secondly, I like to get my dick sucked, Michael <laughs> Kai. Don't you like to get your dick sucked, Michael Kai? And I was like... Wow, yeah, but not right now. Um, you know what the, What I missed? Let me tell you what I missed. When she gave me that answer, I wouldn't want to alter my my body parts because of God. 
I should have asked about them big old titties. Yeah. Cause she got these big old saucy titties. You alter them. <laughs> I'm not understanding what you can move some parts from that. But I didn't even think about it until weeks later. I was like, ah, why didn't I say what about them big old titties? But anyway, I, I, so we have real people who come on the show. You know, me and her got to talk, and, and, and you know, she's the one who got um, uh, uh, Monique back together with Lee Daniels oh, and got her back from her man. past. Oh, what a story. Because that they is. Have, oh, yeah, they have fallen apart. And she tells that story on my show that, you know, that Monique was, you know, really lamenting and, and going, oh, man, I, we was friends. I don't understand. I, I really wish I can get this together. And so she said, look, he's my friend too. Let's pick up the phone and squash it. And in one call, they squashed it. Now she's just done two more movies with Lee Daniels, and she just got her Netflix special, which she ended up, you know, winning the case and getting the Western. She's back on track. So about a month later, uh, T.S. Madison introduced me, uh, hooked me up with with my girl Monique, who I've been knowing for years, wow. but I hadn't had that hookup. Monique did a show. Yep. She did a two parter, and I mean, she talked about her open marriage with her husband. She talked about her acting. She talked about her battle with Oprah. I mean, she talked about everything. We had uh, Earthquake, who was beyond hilarious. We had uh, Ti, who is, I think, probably one of the smartest rappers. Yep, Just yep, clever, yep. smooth, laid back. Kill Harper might have the biggest brain that I've ever met. I don't even know how you get that big ass brain that little bit of uh, George Wallace came on and ripped it. We had the, the, the chairman of the Republican Party, Michael Steele came on the other yep, day yep. just to talk about politics today. You know, we talk, we tackle every topic. When is the right time to slap the shit out of motherfuckers? Yeah. You know what I mean? We, we have to tackle topics you ain't gonna hear nowhere else and we come into them with honesty and with love and with laughter. We laugh here. Okay, I ain't. This ain't a controversial show. I ain't got to beat you up and find out secrets about you to expose you, so I can get somebody's attention. I don't need no attention. If I had any more attention, if I had any more exposure, I get double pneumonia. I don't need none of that. I, I do this because I really want to connect and connect on a higher level with people who are interested in opening their hearts That's and right. their souls sharing their ideals with the world honestly and freely and to help me remind the world that you're okay just the way you are you're fabulous you're already fab you ain't got to change nothing just keep on being you you must have been you must have been reading my notes because in my notes here i i say ask him does he feel like a vitamin or are you a prescription drug because you are making people feel great I love that. I would almost say a vitamin, but it would have to be an herbal supplement. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I ain't put no drugs. I ain't put no drugs in here. Now, you know, I did crack for 23 years. Oh, my and God. As of March 1st, I have 12 years of pure sobriety. Nice. So I don't go put no dope in this body anymore. God, let me get through that. I ain't playing with him no more. I ain't playing like that now. I ain't playing like that. Mm-mm. Your conversation yeah. with Dr. Camille opened up my eyes as well as my heart because as they're preparing to go back up to the moon again, one of the subjects you guys put focus on, black women in space, that's not been done. I wish I could see who you are. You're fabulous. You you saw that one. You know, most people don't even know we have black astronauts and she hates it what I call her astronaut because she's actually a, a, a rocket scientist. Yeah, yeah. How many black female rocket scientists do you know? Now, I went to school with the only black woman that went into space. Um, uh, uh, we graduated together in 75. I'm trying to think of her name. And she went up, but I don't even know her. We went to school together. But with, with Camille... Aline, she came on and there I was face to face with a black female uh, rocket scientist. Yeah, yeah. That blows my mind just to think that and to know that we're getting color into space as well. You know, I, and where she comes from, she's so smart, so sharp, you know. I, oh, wow. You actually listen to some of them. I, I'm very grateful. Oh, absolutely. Be, because it's conversation. It, it is my it's my partner in the car when I'm driving into the essential job. I, I need to hear somebody who's speaking my street. Oh, nice. Oh, thank you for listening to mine. Um, because my my show, I have so much fun. I just feel so honored. I'm so grateful to iHeart because I just feel like this is like the greatest gift that anybody can give me. Mm-hmm. It's for somebody to pay me just to talk. 
just to talk and to talk about what I want to talk about with no restrictions. Yeah. That's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. See, and that's the reason so many people want me to go back to terrestrial radio and I'm going, I I, I can't. I can't because with a podcast, I, I get to talk over whatever song I want and for as long as I want. And and whereas yeah. terrestrial radio shuts me down. Yes. And yeah, I have no limits. I mean, my time is 30 minutes. I do 30 minute segments. But if somebody comes on this crazy, wonderful, awesome, I'm going to stretch that thing out. And then just going to have to do two segments. We show one one day. The next day we show the next like yeah. we did with Monique. Oh, there's no way I would talk to Monique for less than an hour. If she give me an hour, yeah. <laughs> I'm taking that hour. We got to work it out of that heart. You know what I'm saying? And we get some great, like, I got great people lined up who said they're coming. God bless Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx. Oh, well, we we show. gotta we gotta pray for him right now. We ha- we have to yeah, because we we, we don't him. know what is going on, but but we as a nation, as a generation, need to give Jamie Foxx love and support through this storm. Yes, he's a real one. He deserves deserves love and support. He don't start no trouble with nobody. He's a beautiful artist and a great man. And you know, I talk to people who are very 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 very, very close to him. And they're not even telling them what's yep, going on. Yep. They say if you even near that hospital room near him, you got to sign an NDA. Mm. So he ain't, ain't nobody disclosing nothing. So we don't know what it is, but we know he's under the weather and yep. we know he's worthy of our prayer and our love. So please just lift up Jimmy Fox. I love him, you, mm. you know? And it's just so many great people. Chuck D is coming to do my show. Snoop is my friend. Huh? So later <laughs> he's coming to do my show. Everybody is going to talk to Michael Kai or Michael talks to everybody on iHeart. And all you got to do is go wherever you get your podcast yep. and say I need Michael talks to air by not every don't get it twisted E-R-R-B-O-D-Y everybody I'm talking about politicians I'm talking to comedians I'm talking to strippers I'm talking to uh, <laughs> I'm talking to anybody who wants to bring energy and light to the show that's a, com- that's a calling nobody with no problem huh? that's a calling you've been called to do this and you answered that call you're, you're an activator Thank you. Oh, thank you. I think it is my calling. And I think it is because it's easy. I think when you're supposed to be doing a thing, it's supposed to be easy. Yeah. It's supposed to be like breathing when it's the right thing. When you got to work hard to make something work, yeah. you probably ain't supposed to be doing that. You probably supposed to be doing something <laughs> else, you know. <laughs> oh, you've got to come back to this show anytime in the future, Michael, especially when you come down here Man. to Winston-Salem. Oh man, please make sure, make sure that I can, I mean, if you gave me a control number over there, you don't have to give me your personal number, give me a control number, I'll make sure that my people contact you and every now and then we'll come on. And can you come on my show? I have a morning radio show called uh, the Michael Kaya Morning Show yeah. on YouTube. I've only done 606 shows, so I understand you haven't heard about it. But I do five days a week, Monday through Friday. Would you please come on and be a guest? Absolutely. Yeah, I'm trying to bring you on this week if you'll come. <laughs> you North Carolina, brother. And you know, my fiance, she's here at, at our house here right now from North <laughs> Carolina. We just, we just kind of work it all out. She's the most amazing human being, just the sweetest, just the smartest, the flyest. I mean, I, I don't even objectify women anymore. <laughs> I, I, my entire life, Arrow, I've objectified women. Even when I was in marriages and relationships, I see a pretty woman go, ooh, look at the ass. Those are nice titties. <laughs> what is this swallows? You know, I, I, but now I wouldn't care. I mean, I love Rihanna and Beyonce. They're my two favorites. But they could both be standing in front of me butt naked yeah. with two hands for $100 bills. All I could think about is Sony. Yep. And that's not a slogan Aww. or a saying. It's the way I feel. All I can do is think about her. She she could think about me and it touches. I love her so much. <laughs> Amazing. And once again, these are the gifts and the blessings from God. Man. Yes, yeah, you absolutely. You know, I get to do this for a living. These are blessings, man. Yep. You know, and, and I was smack dab in the middle of my dream, and then she showed up. <laughs> Here I am thinking life can get no better than God adds extra whipped cream and ice into a fabulous thing. <laughs> You know, so yeah. And oh, shout out to Sonia because you're in North Carolina. It's called Simply Sonia, S O E N Y A. Simply Sonia. If y'all anywhere near Winston Salem, North Carolina, you need to swing in there and also look at them chicken wings. Boy, she That's got right. Oh my God. Oh, the Sonia sauce. Oh, my lord! Let me tell you something. I don't even eat chicken wings because I think that's too nigga. That's too nigga for me. I'm sorry. All my black friends, every time I go someplace, they order chicken wings. Yeah. We could be in France. Hey, hey, you, you think you got chicken wings? No, no nigga. We ain't no wings. We out of wings. The, the chickens died. But this girl put a sauce on it called the Sonia sauce. 
<laughs> all I can say is, I'm eating chicken again. Let me just say that. I'm eating chicken wings and I'm eating them all the time. I okay, this it. one is phenomenal. My life is phenomenal because it is a blessing. God is phenomenal because he is our greatest blessing. Yeah. And he sooner or later gets us all back on track. I all we got to do is just be patient, man. Just be patient. If you can stay prayed up, if prayer bothers you, don't, don't call it prayer. Yeah. Just talk to God. Don't even talk to God. Just uh, talk to yourself. For where do you think God resides? He resides in the center of your heart. The closer you get to you, the closer you get to God anyway. So it's going to be all right as smooth as the swelling go down. I love it. You know? You be brilliant today, okay, <laughs> Mr. Michael? God bless you, and I appreciate you so much. I swear, Eric, you coming on my show. What's the name of your radio station? Is it a call letter? It's Unplugged and Totally Uncut. Unplugged. I love it. Unplugged and Totally Uncut. Well, my woman likes that about me. I'm totally <laughs> uncut. Okay. Right, and I will talk to you again, my friend. This has been a plum pleasing pleasure, and I am beyond thrilled. I am honored. Thank you so much. And tell all your fans, please, Michael talks to everybody on iHeart, and we love you. Please come and support us so we can love you and show you our love. I appreciate you, my friend. God bless you. Thank Bill. you so much. Bye.